And it really speaks to the idea of, of, of windows and mirrors. And so your books are giving the, the, the mirrors uh, to the kids that maybe haven't had them. They're giving them windows. And I was just looking, uh, Rudine Sims Bishop is, is the person who sort of came up with this idea of literature and, and talking about diversity. And she says, when the light is just right, the uh, window becomes the mirror. And so then you see yourself. And so kind of giving that um, sense that, that what you're really looking for is the story that's relatable and maybe there's some new detail or aspect that you're learning but you're you're seeing yourself in the stories. Um, I'm going to ask you to uh, read a little bit from your books before we finish but is there anything else you want to add? Um, just uh, something that I've been thinking about a lot with regard to mirrors and windows and um, to what you said about the, the light being right. I hope really with my stories that kids from all backgrounds, you know, I see the books and I see a lot of times the tendency of uh, librarians who have been amazingly supportive of my book and I, you know, I can't say enough how grateful I am for, for them sharing it with readers, um, but I do see, you know, within the larger conversation of, of diversity and diverse books and who they're for, um, you know, just the need to emphasize that diverse books are for everyone and, you know, this book as much as, you know, I, I do and happily intend it for as a mirror you know the window component is so important and even in terms of people identifying um, you know I really feel like from what I've seen kids of all backgrounds have been able to identify with this character and so you don't need to be a Muslim kid um, to relate to her um, so I just hope that that people will uh, present it as a book that's a good book to read for, for various reasons right. um, and not as a friend of mine talks about diverse books being sometimes presented as like the vegetables that you eat that are good for you mm -hmm. <laughs> but mm -hmm. that you read it because it's a good book and, um, and that you, you hopefully will enjoy it. And the kids growing up in this country there's a lot they can relate to and if you think wow this is a great book for my immigrant student who just came maybe from Iraq she might not have as much as that she can relate to in the story and this is a kid who's growing up in outside of Milwaukee right. and um, as I said sometimes just wants a peanut butter sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> exactly just like my kid you know wouldn't right. necessarily relate to the boy growing up in Cairo mm -hmm. um, even though he was a Muslim mm -hmm. and those were the books I was finding but it didn't reflect his experience here so definitely like an Iraqi immigrant child might um, you know feel comforted knowing that this book is about a Muslim family or you know seeing certain things happening in the book that she can relate to but I don't think any more necessarily than like you said a, an American child from any background yeah. who is like oh yeah my middle school experience was similar to that mm -hmm. or I love watching the voice too or right. I have a big brother who kind of ignores me <laughs> or whatever it is.